had more of your smile What if the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope mm. So literally it's day one and um, needed something to eat, left on the, uh, the hotel Got dropped off by the taxi and it's at the Buhara 93 restaurant Hopefully going to go and see uh, the mosques and stuff today. So I wanted a bit of a brekkie, looking at what we could get. And I've gone with this, which is a pretty lovely uh, omelette. It's very hot. Let's have a try. That is really good, actually. Had a little bit of Sprite. And also got some lovely bread as well. Try a bit of this. So basically day one and when you come to Istanbul you've got to go to one of these two places it, the iconic is probably number one on the uh, on the must see and that is the iconic blue mosque which you can see below behind me here and then if we turn around we've got the Hagia Sophia absolutely unbelievably impressive buildings and uh, can't wait to have a look inside of them so literally just having a little queue to get into the Hagia Sophia as you can possibly see there is a little bit of a queue but that's okay it'll probably take about 10-15 minutes so literally just got into the uh, into the Hagia Sophia and uh, there's a tour guides and everything that's outside that want to fast track you saying it's about an hour to get in to the actual place um, it was about 15 minutes to get a ticket it's about it's 72 um, Turkish dollars or pounds liras or whatever they called which is about 10 or 11 pounds uh, to get in in the end and uh, it's a beautiful place take a look at the architecture oh my god how beautiful is that it's just beautiful it's you see obviously you see on the videos and stuff like that but wow it's um the lights and it's not too bad not too bad. i mean there is a lot of people in here obviously you think but it's not mad crazy so yeah absolutely loving it you know obviously. so on my way to the Blue Mosque, but as you can see, have a look around here, it looks really nice, doesn't it? This is like um, a nice square with the obelisks, as you can see, either side. Maybe there is a star with your name One thing I know is that there should be There is no one who has a heart So inside the, uh, the Blue Mosque, and obviously this is a very religious place, um, and there are people that are, are praying as you, as you can uh, see behind me. Obviously you've got the tourists in there, 
as well. It has been closed during the day, obviously, for the uh, main prayers and stuff like that. Um, but it is really, really lovely again inside. It's amazing, amazing buildings in Istanbul. Obviously, it's a very old city. Um, yeah, it's really difficult. So as you can probably hear, there um, it is. I'm just looking at the time. It's ten past four calling for afternoon prayers and that's what you can hear in the background <laughs> So this is the Basilica and um, it's quite dark in here as you can probably see but this was actually in uh, the Tom Hanks film Inferno um, if you've ever seen it you'll know exactly what I mean it's at the end when it's in Istanbul and it's in Inferno uh, try and get you some better images to put up on the screen obviously for it but yeah it's uh, got a sort of a I don't know, a relaxed, chill, sort of happy, cheery, friendly, uh, spiritual type of place, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Of you. So I'm in Amara in Istanbul, and they're very friendly. Uh, I've just come here, it's a really nice location. Wherever you go in this district, there's loads of restaurants. And the restaurant owners are, the, are your best friends, basically. And they, We've had about 10 proposals uh, of the best food ever, and reservations. And one guy even wanted to give us free desserts, and also free starters. But we've ended up in Amara, and I've gone for the, uh, the grilled chicken. As you can see, but my humble colleague and friend over here has gone for the fish. Sea bass. What do you think? Very nice, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. So I'll, hopefully it's going to be very nice. <laughs> match day uh, got up got the tickets um, from the hotel a few Wolves fans getting mixed up between the two different CSV hotels one it's like a little sliding door like you get in Harry Potter and the other one's like um, got a staircase like the um, like the Titanic anyway had a little bit of a walk and uh, need a little bit of something to eat so I've got this Have no idea what it is, but it's got cheese in it. But also, bit of pizza. So we're uh, going to tuck into a bit of that. Hopefully, it'll be nice. Let this know. Turkish tea.
do if you come to Istanbul um, on the list is all the tourist attractions go to a football match it doesn't matter which team it is whether it's Galatasaray, Fenerbahce personally just been to see uh, my team Wolves play Besiktas in the Vodafone Arena an amazing experience even if you're not a football fan I, just, I recommend you go because it's something that people don't recommend and they've got some great teams here in Istanbul so that would be one of my things and then following that you need to grab yourself a little bit of this at any local restaurant There's a lot of bread, there's an awful lot of lettuce, but we do have a little bit of fish there. So I'm gonna have a try of it. Bread's good. It's all right actually. There's more fish than I thought I was gonna get on some of the reviews I've looked at before, so it's not too bad. And it's definitely somewhere you gotta come and just have. It's a must do thing if you're coming to Istanbul. So one of the places that you definitely want to come and visit when you're in uh, Istanbul is the Spice Bazaar. Uh, this isn't the Grand Bazaar. Uh, we'll have to be, it's going to be a day of bazaars today. We'll go and have a look at that later. This is by the river. Uh, <laughs> friendly people. Uh, by the river, um, basically, the, the smells and the aromas here are absolutely... Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm good, thank you. The smells of the aromas here is absolutely fantastic. There's so much, um, there's just everything you can imagine that you can pretty much eat. Uh, this is by the river, by where the bridges are, where they fish off the river, which we're going to have a look at as well. It's something else that you'll need to see when you're in Istanbul. But honestly, the smells here are absolutely fantastic. And this is definitely a place that you need to visit basically in this restaurant just outside the uh, spice market um, ordered a few bits and pieces I'm gonna show you around it now uh, I've ordered the beef sheets we've got some what we thought was small pizzas but it's turned out to be quite large there's a bit of salad there's, there's a bit of everything to be honest take a look that's the beef sheet there's a bit of salad there's some pizza I don't know what that is, but it's very nice. It's very spicy and a bit of Sprite. I've got to tell you, I've tried a little bit of this beef shish and I love it. It's really good. Sometimes I wonder where you came from You are special, yeah you're special Everything about you is so beautiful I am all yours, if you let me stay You're the one who gives my life color There is no another 
with your head in So basically, now in the Grand Bazaar, as you can see, it's absolutely humongous, forwards and backwards. It's like, and we've been through the outer part as well. It's absolutely massive. And um, it's got such a great vibe in this city. As I say, if you come to Istanbul, this is one place you've definitely got to go. Uh, the, this look, I mean, it's literally, the way I would describe parts of Istanbul, like the Grand Bazaar and the outer, with all the markets, it's kind of like a ginormous Amazon, but it's not online, it's in the real world. If you were a little, a little pixel in Amazon world, this is kind of what it would look like. So, uh, yeah, you've got to come here. It's one, obviously, it's one of them places that you have to come if you uh, if you go to Istanbul, the Grand Bazaar. Wherever you go, there is roads. There is. It's like it's just endless. It is massive. So yeah, make sure you visit the Grand Bazaar. Bon appétit The last uh, night in Istanbul has been pretty interesting. You can't come to Istanbul without someone trying to scam you. Um, that's part of the experience, really. And the scam that I've uh, learned about today is the taxi driver scam, where they basically, um, what happens is they charge you on a meter, you give them the money, and then by sleight of hand, they then say that you're giving them a, a note that's less and they try to get you to give them the same again. Luckily, um, you know, we actually uh, spotted that. See, after a night out clubbing at home, you don't go to takeaways. That has chandeliers. Stop to feel alive, I think you can make